Right now it is time for our final weather forecast of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll bring in Pat Pagano. Good morning, Pat. And good morning. Good morning, everybody. And a uh, little bit on the weggy, wet, soggy side. That's going to be uh, the theme right into the new year, I'm afraid. Uh, there's a cold front that's moving south. Uh, so light rain, then a little sun breaks out this afternoon, 45 to 50 for the high. Tonight, front goes south, stalls, clear cold, about 20. Midnight temperature, 31. Storm forms on the front in the Gulf of Mexico, travels north into the Ohio Valley. So for Friday, sun, other by clouds, we have a wintry mix coming in tomorrow evening in the middle 30s. That wintry mix tomorrow night will change to rain so that by Saturday, lingering rain may even give way to some sun, 45 to 50. Very similar pattern to today. Then on Sunday, here comes a sneaky storm again near uh, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, moving uh, northeastward toward Cape Cod. I think we're going to have a chance of snow showers breaking out later Sunday, 35 to 40. And then a wintry mix Sunday night, ending early Monday morning with highs in the 40s. So a sloppy, sloppy uh, three, four days ahead. And, uh, you know, none of which at this point point to uh, any kind of big, big, big snowfall for us. So it's not terrible. Well, it's terrible this morning, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the temperature at my house when I uh, I always check before I go out because I don't want to slip and fall was 35. But the person that comes and watches my dogs mm -hmm. slipped and fell, and so I mm -hmm. went out and looked. If you go, if you live in a house that has um, uh, a stone path, a dirt path, or if you park in dirt on on dirt, and that dirt was what got wet, right. the ground has held. The the the, uh, the freezing Moisture, point. I'm sure you get a little bit of like black uh, ice. A lot of black ice at my house. Uh, I actually had to use the, my, those cleats on my feet, and also a walker because it was like glare. Okay, now it's not going to be that way at everybody's house. I was explaining to people: just be careful when you step out this morning. Your decks are going to be fine because they're not attached to the ground. They're not going to be frozen. My deck was not frozen at all. But boy, the minute you got to the stones that were implanted and the grass and the dirt around it, and yeah. then the, my driveway where the cars were parked, glare ice, glare mm -hmm. ice. So, so I used a walker and cleats to get to my car this morning. But it looked funny. But you know what? It was a safe way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. So what, what appears to be at this point right now, what appears to be wet could be ice. It, it, yeah, it's not in roads and it's not your deck this time. But if it's on the ground and and a lot of sun doesn't hit it, I'm telling you, be careful. Just be careful, because right. it's it's one of those. When people walk on ice and they know there's ice there, they might. But if you don't know there's ice there and you and you and you go ahead full speed, you can be in for a real good fall. So so just I tell just be take take caution when you're walking out to your car and be careful, right? Yeah. yeah. So so anyway. Um, yeah. Good advice. Uh, yes, um, I searched for um, an, a, an appropriate uh, uh, year-end poem, and I found one <clears throat> on the internet. And I said, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it to our listeners this morning because I thought it really was done very, very well. So, here we go. This year has been marked with reflection and change. Some days feel good; others feel strange. We've learned to work differently and love more unconditionally. We try to tune out the stress, but sometimes life feels like a mess. We find ways to turn negatives into good and learn new skills that we thought we never could. We find ways to travel to less congested places and we meet our friends with covered faces. Hopefully this year has been filled with opportunity and we've tried to exercise and strengthen our immunity. 2020 hasn't been like we expected, but we found new ways to stay connected. Hug your kids and enjoy the outdoors. Worry less about the very small chores. Things will get better because they usually do. Enjoy what you love and learn something new. Don't forget to pray and always be kind. Try to stay positive and learn to unwind. 
the story has been written. Good wins in the end. Prayers for all my family and friends. There you go. Where'd you find that? <clears throat> I found it on the internet. I did a lot of searching. And I mean, I kept reading, reading and reading and reading and reading and reading. And then I said, you know, this is just not what I want. And then all of a sudden I found this and it was written by, was written by Craig, uh, looks like Craig, Craig Alter, Mercy Health Marketing Manager from Cincinnati, Ohio. The and of course of, he didn't title it. The then you think it was, uh, didn't you think it was just perfect for our time? Yeah, it was a nice little poem, yeah. And Cincinnati, yeah, Ohio is the home of the world famous Chili Spaghetti. Did you know that? Oh, it is? I didn't know that. They make they, sp spaghetti with chili. And it's, it's, it's done in Cincinnati in that region of Ohio like nowhere else. Wow. See, you can ask me about different towns and I'll tell you about different foods. Other people will tell you about landmarks they see and everything. I mean, it's, right. it's where I've been and food I've tasted. Oh, got to go there. Forget about that. There might be some, some great historical thing there. Yeah, that you would not know. Right. <laughs> I, would, um, I, I don't know about, I don't know how chili would taste with spaghetti, but, you know, not to be too fair, but to try, right? It's, it's, you know what? Uh, other places down south have barbecue spaghetti. Where people, you know, make their own homemade barbecue sauce and put it on spaghetti. And, you know, it's not something that I could eat every day, but it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste bad. And mm -hmm. chili spaghetti is very good, but boy, is it filling. Boy, is it filling. Because you get a whole lump of spaghetti when, they, when you get it, and then they put like a quarter of a pound of chili on top of it. So uh, it's it's filling, um, but... It's just one of those things. So, so anyway, I'm I'm going to bed early tonight. There's no doubt about it because there's uh, uh, you know, obviously something. 2020 will have one more surprise for us before it ends. I'm I'm just convinced of that. I'm just you convinced. Are, huh? that, you know, it's just been, you know, it's very rare that a year has been this consistently bad, but uh, but this year really has been consistently bad. It's been bad uh, for everybody. Worse for people who are of low income and worse for people that lost jobs and worse for people if you're in the restaurant industry. Uh, you li literally have lost a whole year of your life of what you do uh, yeah. and you're struggling. So, I mean, this really has been a year that you just want to shed. You know, every year you like to say, okay, let's uh, wipe the slate clean. We'll start over again. Well, this year really is a year. That you want to wipe the slate clean wipe and start clean. over again. And someone said to me, so, you know, what was the best thing that happened to you in the year 2020? And I said, I know you're going to laugh, but the best thing that happened to me was mouse proofing my cabin. Well, there you go. That was it. I mean, that was the best thing, uh, you know, and at, we were able, thank God, I call it my little paradise up there tucked away in northwest New Jersey. Thank God I had that cabin and on a lake. Otherwise, I would have been like everybody else this past summer, you know, confined uh, uh, to a small space and not really moving too far away from that. But remember, we also went to Maine and uh, I enjoyed four or five days there and um, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, it was very quiet, but at least I was able, I mean, I didn't hardly take any vacation, as you know. I took those four or five days there and then a, a day here and there. So, uh, didn't have much time off this year. You know, the two best things that happened to me this year, uh, of course, right. uh, my daughter Karen got married, which was a, a great thing. Uh, and uh, also, uh, Sam, my son, he he had a another baby. And my son, Mark, had, had, so there's three things. Uh, two, two, three new additions to a family, uh, babies and uh, and. Uh, a son-in-law, so so those things uh, made the year, uh, and everybody was and everybody was healthy in my family. I lost my sister, which was a horrible thing. I just lost my cousin uh, the other day, which was a bad thing, but that was made up by uh, by by the two births and and the wedding. So, and and and, and to me, those are the those are the great things that happened to me this year. So, there well, you go. That, that's good, I, and I'm hoping for lots and lots of better things for all of us uh, in the new year. Of course, I won't see you tomorrow, but um, I'll and be back. You'll be back on, on, on Monday, right? On Monday. Yeah. Well, just in honor 
uh, of you not seeing me tomorrow. I think uh, I'll play something that sooner or later nobody's going to know who the hell this is. <laughs> but this is Guy Lombardo with the Canadians, yeah. right, Pat? Yeah. And this is the song that's played at midnight. Pat, I want you to have a great night tonight, and I'll speak to you next year. And you do the same. Be safe, everybody. All right. Take care, Pat. Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Happy New Year. Uh, Pat Pagano in the Weather Center this morning here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio. Mm-hmm.